Hey guys, Tater here with my munchkin friend Gary. We love puzzle games, definitely some of the most challenging games out there. When presented with logic based challenges or visual mindfucks, it sets us in a go position for a great hour or two spent trying to beat these developers. So for this list we have only selected games that we have played. It isn't right to judge something that you haven't played, so we've ranked them based on enjoyment rather than challenge. So let's get into our top 10 puzzle games. At number 10 we have Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. With unique multiplayer this game plays out a bomb defusal scenario where the diffuser is given instruction from their friends. The best part about this is that the puzzle is under the pressure of time. If you devote each member to a separate task it can make the game a lot easier. However this game is enjoyable whilst you are defusing the bomb and unfortunately not so enjoyable when giving instruction. If you are all in the same room however this can make for some great LAN party events. At number 9 is Infinifactory. Some people may not have heard of this but if you know me I love sandbox games. Mixed with a puzzle genre this game was a must have for me. I tried it with high hopes and believe me when I say this game is 100% worth a try. The game itself fuses the playstyle of Minecraft with the objectives being similar to Factorio, two brilliant sandbox games. The learning curve is well made and the objectives are very very creative. Any puzzle game with more than one solution is always going to be great. At number 8 we are delighted with a mobile game known as Flow Free. Now I don't often spend time on a mobile device but I downloaded this from a recommendation and I wasn't able to sleep that night. The game kept me up with a stable goal, to fill squares and connect coloured dots. Seemed easy at first but slowly became more and more difficult. The progression relies on the size of the canvas and if you are able to think about the structure of development it does give you a distinct advantage. This game is free which is also another bonus and has so many puzzles and game types to keep you entertained on the go. At number 7 we have a very popular 2012 classic known as Fez. This was arguably a 2D platformer where the puzzles are based on perspective. So you can move in the 2D universe but change the camera's 3D perspective. It's confusing to explain but awesome to play. The game itself is about Gomez, a little character in an 8 bit style universe. The puzzles are not so difficult to understand but the game itself is actually enjoyable nonetheless. It definitely fits as a perfect game for people who do not play puzzle games to start you off with something fun. Number 6 is Portal 2. We all know what this game is, the sequel to the famous Portal. In this version you take on a larger range of challenges including liquids and tractor beams and other miscellaneous contraptions. They definitely put a lot of effort into making the levels progressively challenging. Also they opened the game up to multiplayer, another great bonus for those who enjoy a bit of teamwork. Additionally they allowed a level editor, again pleasing if you are a sandbox fan. Number 5 we have Inside. I've talked about this game a few times and although it has a very simple gameplay method it still has very enjoyable puzzles. Most games that attempt to tell a story like this sometimes let us down when it comes to the challenging missions or objectives. The real challenge from Inside is reading what the map is displaying and how you should be completing the mission. The greatest side to this game is that every single puzzle is different despite such a basic control. They managed to incorporate a lot with just movement. Thumbs up to Inside, this was definitely a worthwhile game. Alright now closing in on our absolute favourites we have Trine 2 at number 4. Trine and Trine 3 were perfectly fine games but neither could compare to the enjoyment we got playing Trine 2. There isn't really a solid reasoning behind our love of this game, it just gave us some puzzles that although promoted one way of completion actually had multiple ways. The game is based on three characters taking the form of an archer, a mage and a knight where you switch characters depending on how you believe the task should be completed. Each character has a set of skills but each challenge presented has multiple ways of completion. The game also has moments of combat making it perfect for people who appreciate the best of both worlds. Oh. 
Number three, we've chosen The Witness. Definitely the game on this list with the most puzzling puzzles. We found it to be extremely challenging breaking our brains at certain points. The greatest part of this game is that the puzzles themselves are actually really simple if you know the method. The method of course is obtained by looking around the environment. The Witness is probably one of the strangest forms of a game. I never thought that a puzzle game would ever be mixed with the beautiful scenery and display of The Witness. Worth the purchase if you are heavily into puzzle games. Number 2 we've actually played and completed this week, Little Nightmares. There is probably debate on whether or not this is a puzzle game. The puzzles are based on observation and the game has a lot of depth. I do love the horror genre but in Little Nightmares there is mainly tension during a chase or just disturbing imagery, not necessarily horror. There are however set ways on how to get past a level that are very clear, but also sprinting through and hiding quickly can become a skill having known your environment. The entire game kept me on my feet attempting to understand a story but failing and by the end I had no clue what was going on. However the reason this is so high on the list is because it was actually really fun to play. There were relaxing moments, tense moments and what the hell am I doing moments. The puzzles themselves were difficult enough through the tension of getting caught. Had there been no AI however then maybe it would be a bit too easy, but they definitely made a decent game. Finally at number 1 for us especially was Brothers A Tale Of Two Sons. Basically the game is about two brothers. The player controls each separately at the same time using joysticks and triggers to have some very immersive and unique gameplay. A large portion of the game is coordinating both characters, this opens a lot of doors towards progressive difficulty. The puzzles give advantage towards the more observant, basically if you are able to look for gaps or objects that help you in your scenario, you are going to fly through this game. The game in its entirety is more lenient towards an adventure style, but the problems that arise are extremely extremely puzzle based. There is very little combat styled gameplay but the world is more immersive because of this. If you like fantasy and unique gameplay then I would definitely recommend Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. Thanks for watching guys, if you are a game developer and would like to join some other game developers then head on over to our discord channel, link should be in the description below. If you have any thoughts on today's topic including but not limited to games we may have missed then leave us a comment, otherwise keep playing awesome games.